certainly Glenn and I have talked about it before about the importance of microbes. And so when you hear about the importance of microbes, you think, aha, I either need to feed them or I need to put them on my soil because microbes are gonna save me. Well, of course uh, they can and they have the capability of doing so, but there are some problems. So imagine if you will, to paint an image of your mind of uh, a man who lives at the bottom of a mountain and he lives in a, in a small house with his family. Well, this mountain suddenly becomes reactive and it sends up uh, lava into the air. So it's now an active volcano. As the lava slowly starts to move down the side of the mountain, there's a lot of screaming and yelling. People are running here, there, and everywhere. Dogs and cats living together. You know what I'm talking about here. But now we've got this situation that needs to be taken care of because he thinks to himself, oh, I've got a house. Oh, I've got a family. I need to do something to protect them. What am I going to do? He sees the lava coming down. And then it comes to him. An idea comes to him. He goes, I know how to stop this. So he runs into his house, opens up his freezer, and grabs an ice cube tray. And he runs out armed with his ice cube tray at the lava, which is now coming down and threatening his home. And he takes out an ice cube, little cool, and throws it at the lava. What happens? Psh! Immediately melts, it's gone. He's thinking, <laughs> gonna need another one. Takes another ice cube. <laughs> it's gone. Thinking, I'm gonna need more than two. Grabs another one, throws it at it again. Same thing. Goes through all, let's say 12 in the entire ice cube tray, throwing it and having the ice cube disappear within a matter of seconds. How effective is that technique against lava, which is going to come down and obviously destroy his house? Obviously, it's a good point to start running at this point. I get that, but I'm just telling a story right now. So what is happening when you take microbes and place them into toxic soil? The same thing that just happened with the ice cubes. You introduce it into the toxic soil and then psh, they're gone. Within a matter of seconds, minutes at most, I don't think they're gonna last a few hours or two, but you know, if you got pretty good soil, they might stick. And so you can inoculate your soil over and over again, but if the soil is toxic, you have done nothing except line the pockets of people who are selling these various micro packs.